Laminitis results from damage to sensitive soft tissues known as laminae, which connect the pedal bone to inside the hoof wall. The first signs of foot pain and clinical evidence don't occur until acute phase, which may progress to chronic phase with severe foot pain and pedal bone displacement. Physical change in the hoof is known as founder. The pedal bone may rotate backwards or sink downwards, possibly even penetrating the sole. Laminitis is the second biggest killer of horses after colic. Even low-grade laminitis can compromise a horse's performance. Radiographs are invaluable, as structural failure of the laminae occurs hours or even days before clinical signs, which may include shifting weight from one hoof to another, inability to walk, increased heart and respiratory rate, or the front hooves further forward than normal so the heels carry more weight. Laminitis is extremely common in all horses. It may be caused by external influences, like poor hoof care, malnutrition, or hoof wall injury, or by pathological changes, resulting from infections and disorders, or from lush pasture diets rich in sugar and high grain excessive starch diets. Since mammals have no enzyme to digest the sugar fructin, it passes undigested into the hindgut, or with excessive grain consumption, undigested carbohydrate overflows into the hindgut. Rapid fermentation occurs, leading to bacteria imbalance, increase in volatile fatty acid, a drop in pH, and increase lactate levels. The resulting toxins entering the bloodstream are thought to damage laminae. Potential treatment includes cold therapy if the disease is not progressed. Anti-inflammatories and analgesics can relieve pain and help block further cell damage. Other options include soft bedding for sole support and therapeutic shoeing to alleviate weight bearing. Mineral oil or activated charcoal may help after ingestion of excess grain. New developments in stem cell therapy offer potential, as do medicinal treatments for the hormonal or metabolic abnormalities which may be causing the laminitis. Since a common cause of laminitis is excessive soluble carbohydrate consumption, feed management is vital. Enforce strip grazing, avoid grazing in full sun, and use grazing muzzles. And be careful after rain, as these grasses contain far higher levels of the danger molecule fructin. Soaking hay can reduce sugar content, and consider reducing grain feeding. FounderGuard, the only registered and patented supplement against feed-induced laminitis, is safe, effective and highly palatable. It's a preventative, not a cure, providing high-level protection against carbohydrate overload, even if given continuously over long periods. FounderGuard contains the antibiotic Virginiomycin, which is active against only very specific bacteria. It reaches the hindgut, preventing buildup of lactic acid, even when extreme levels of soluble carbohydrate are fed. Use Founder Guard for horses on high grain diets and horses previously affected by laminitis or Founder. Dose Founder Guard for at least three days before increasing a horse's starch or sugar intake. Founder Guard must be fed daily at five grams per 100 kilograms body weight. Founder Guard helps prevent what can't be cured.